Today on Unauthorized Personnel, we're exploring two locations. The first location is the Old Overholt Distillery, located in southwestern Pennsylvania. Henry Overholt started making whiskey in his home in West Overton Village. Soon, his son Abraham took an interest and decided to turn it into a business. Upon Abraham Overholt's death in 1870, the ownership of the business was transferred to his grandson, Henry Clay Frick. In 1884 and 1905, the distillery experienced some bad luck and two serious fires almost took out the distillery. After World War I, prohibition started gaining steam until in 1920 it became law. In 1951, the still house was closed and in 1955, the property was sold and closed and has been deteriorating ever since. Our second location is the Brownsville Brewery. The Brownsville Brewing Company was opened in 1905 and closed in 1920 due to prohibition. The building consisted of a brewery, ice plant, boiler house, and apartments. After prohibition's repeal, the brewery once again started producing beer in 1933 and again closed in 1935. Since closing, the building was repurposed throughout the years until finally it housed a dry cleaning company, a fire extinguisher company, and a coal and stone company. We found this location by driving around the town of Brownsville and searching for abandoned buildings to explore. When we chose this location, we had no idea what we were exploring, and we were forced to put the pieces together on our own. Join us as we venture inside these historic buildings to see what still remains. What's that? They went up those steps. <laughs> oh, shit. They must have did the rails on the side. Was he saying somebody went up these stairs? Yeah. This is a vet. That's a hell of a vet. Holy. Wow. That's a bunch of stuff thrown in there. Yeah, those like metal supports on the sides. Yeah, I'm not about to attempt that shit. <laughs> Yeah, the tanks are, and they, they access them from the top, obviously. Yeah. Like. Well, the product came out the Right. But I'm sure they loaded them from the top. Yeah. Like, lots and lots of graffiti. This is, uh, well, yeah, they, so they, these were all those grain silos, I guess, but then this is obviously where they were able to tap into the silos and all right, that's get. Like one of the tunnels he was talking about. Oh, yeah. Weird. There's a tunnel there, I think. Well, sort of. I mean, I don't know that I would really classify it as a tunnel, per se. Right. That's kind of cool.
Yeah. I wonder what they supported. Some weird contraption here. Huh. There's a staircase out here that's pretty twisted and mangled. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, maybe. They look about the same kind of diameter and stuff. Yeah, this might have been, they might have been um, like kind of all standard size. Oh, this was a, yeah, this was a furnace or something. I can see the, there's like a door panel. I think it was a furnace. Maybe that's, maybe that's where they did the, uh, where they, had the mash that they cooked. Um, and then they flushed it outside. It's possible, yeah. It's a, it's pretty amazing, like how much the uh, the place is overgrown. Oh, yeah. Like what used to be an indoors area is not, not anymore. No, this looks like a pistol fire. Yeah, this was for sure. There was a fire here. This is super sign. Oh, the railroad tracks. Oh yeah. At this point during our exploration, we decided to pack up and move on to our next location. Wow. What is this? I don't know. This is actually very interesting. It's definitely like sculptures. Mm -hmm. It's a big boiler or something. Yeah. It's a chair. <laughs> the way it was turned, it looked like some kind of alien creature. Yeah, I know. Four stable, nothing weird. Right, all this stable. is all concrete. Yeah, I'm just looking above us to make sure it's safe. It's right. Cool. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, it's a lot of furnaces. Boilers. Washing machine. Yeah. I don't know. That's pretty cool. Yeah, okay. Laundry room? Yeah. Laundry room. This is a smell. Smell art here? I'm not sure what that smell is, but it's a smell. Yeah, get a mask on. Stitch. You stand up. And short, cleaning. And there's all hanging lines. Oh yeah, this was totally dry cleaner. That's probably the chemical smell then. Yeah. I love these retro smells. I know. That's like so 1940s. Uh -huh. When I saw that though, I thought, oh, it's a building. Yeah. No, this was a dry cleaner. That's probably why the odd smell back there. Yeah, that's why it went. Oh my gosh, look at the power of this building. I love just like bees, like this. Right. Look how old this building is. Look at the, the roof. 
bead structure. Holy shit, yeah. Those are like really old wood beams. Yeah, and they did a recess with this concrete, or the brick. Yeah. And then they built up. They buttressed they it. Yep, <laughs> you're doing it the right way. I mean, stay to the side. I don't lie that I've been doing this for many years. <laughs> Yeah, this is a big ass platform too. Oh, I got you. Offices or apartments? Maybe not. I'm gonna say at one point they were hotel. Probably both. Oh, it could have been a hotel. Yeah, you want to check out? You feel pretty good with the floor? Yeah. Yeah, this building seems to be fairly. Oh, laundry room. That's interesting. These Spiders. I don't know what it was. This is cool though. Yeah, this is really cool. This was definitely an apartment. It's all industrial. It's been buried forever. Yeah. You can probably get a decent shot, just angle them in there. I'm gonna go out. So there's not so much stress on the floor. Oh, he has more washing equipment. And an engine block. <laughs> yeah. And random shit. This is another apartment. a very common thing back in the day. Yeah. Business in the bottom and apartments up above. Cool. <laughs> it's probably more of the same. It's just a little bit darker down here. Yeah. If anybody's down here, it's, uh, we're just taking pictures. Hello? Is anyone here? Uh, this is kitchen. What kitchen. Yeah, it's still relatively intact. This was not abandoned all that long ago. Some of this. I'm gonna say 10 years. Yeah, possibly. Maybe even less. Yeah. Whoa, this goes way back. This is a bonus to drive. Yeah. 
What are you thinking? 1940s? I'm gonna say 1940s. Yeah. I just judging by the construction and the all the add-ons, the cabinetry, and but, I mean the woodwork. I mean, Oops. And the bathroom stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna say probably mid. This reminds me of a rebuilding in Coriopolis. Uh huh. This is bigger than some homes. Yeah. And they're building now, except everything's a house. Right. It's not like a hallway. Right. Everything's a house. That was right. common. That was common in uh, Coriopolis too. This was a bigger apartment though. This one. Or this is the landlord's. Maybe. Oh, wow. Oh, the patio up here. Is there? Yeah. There's a roof patio. No, it's a, it's a patio patio. Oh. Like there's like newer cabinetry and like this is. Flies. Yeah. Hope they won't run into the dead room. Oh, I think they put the. Oh my god, somebody's been up here. Spanning cigarettes everywhere. Yeah. This is like the party pad. Somebody's been sleeping up here. Oh, really? There's a tent in there. Oh god. Yeah, so that's probably something that not sense. They're, um, they're basically. This this was newer than ten years. Oh, maybe not. No, this is definitely ten, 10 years ago. Yeah, that's like nuts looking. It's good to be relaxed. I'm sure this is nice. Yeah, probably, and I'm walking around with that mask on. I just kind of wanted to check out what was back there, if anything. Yeah. Oh, look at this beautiful wallpaper. <laughs> oh, that's actually... Uh, that's 70s there. Yeah. You don't want to go out. Yeah, that's... Uh, oh, there's the mailboxes. For the... Yeah, so they were definitely apartments. Yeah, it's crazy. This... this There was a big vat here. Yeah, see, there's more of those the pulley system. Yeah, this was a there was a big vat of something here. What? Huh? Yes, they are. These old sewing machines. There's the spoolers. Yeah. At the end of the day, though these two locations weren't typically what we would normally target to explore. We thoroughly enjoyed ourselves checking out these two relics of a time long gone by. We were slightly disappointed at the lack of access to the upper floors at the distillery, but the historical significance of the place was interesting enough to temporarily captivate us. Being in a location that traced its roots all the way back to the 1800s was a special treat that we don't typically come across in the United States. The Brownsville Brewery was a location that felt eerily similar to the vibe of the Beaver Valley Bowl. We'd probably go as far as to call it a sister location, though the properties were used for vastly different purposes after both of their breweries were closed. The one thing that this place included that the others didn't was the sound of disembodied voices and random noises. 
We kept pausing on the upper floors to call out and make sure that we were alone, because both of us kept hearing strange noises and muffled voices, though each time that we checked, nobody was there. It was a creepy experience for sure, though we never felt threatened. We hope that you enjoyed your time with us today exploring these two very unique locations, and we hope to see you again on the next episode of Unauthorized Personnel.